Hey, we have another integral on the board here from MIT Integration B 2016. Problem number 20. We have the integral from 0 to infinity of dx over 2 plus cosh x, or hyperbolic cosine. I really don't know if this is the best way to do this, but what I wanted to do was use this as an excuse to solve this using Weierstrass substitution. Okay, and we'll start this with our half angle substitution. So we're going to make a substitution t equals hyperbolic tangent of x over 2. And yes, that seems pretty strange because we don't have um, tangent, hyperbolic tangent in the expression. We don't have a half angle. What we're going to do is kind of derive all the, um, we'll derive everything we need. And what I did to set that up is I have some identities of the hyperbolic trig functions over here on the right. The first value I'm going to need is the dx. So let's go and solve for that. We can use, we can get the inverse of the hyperbolic tangent here. So we can write this as tangent inverse of t equals x over two. And then if we just multiply both sides by a two, we have what we, we have our x isolated. So from here, let's just take the derivative on both sides. We're gonna have derivative of x, we'll just have dx equals two. And the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent is gonna be just one minus t squared dt. Okay, so now we have our value of dx. I'm going to move on. Even though we don't have a uh, cinch or hyperbolic sine, I'm still going to find that value so that we just have kind of a complete table. Next, what I'm going to do is use this second formula over here, a double angle formula for cinch. But I'm just going to, instead of using x, I'm going to substitute with the half angle x over 2. So instead of, then what I'm going to do with this is essentially multiply by 1, but we'll multiply a cosh x over 2 in the numerator and denominator and we're going to have I'm going to take one of these and, and combine it here I'm trying to use my tanch so we'll have 2 tanch x over 2 and then multiplying these two together we're going to have cosh squared x over 2 but then I can actually bring this in the denominator and write it as a secant but then what I can do, I just added this formula here for hyperbolic secant squared. We just get this by dividing through by a cosh squared, right? If you divide this all the way through, you get this equation here. So then substituting that way, we're going to have 2 tanch x over 2. And then we're going to have 1 minus tanch x over 2. But now we know what this is, and this is, we have it right here. It's just t. So then we can write our expression for cinch of x as 2t over 1 minus t squared. Okay, next we need our cosh value. I'm going to do something really similar to what we did with, with cinch, and I'm going to use this formula, our first formula here. So we're going to have, again, substituting in a half angle, we're going to have cosh x equals cosh squared x over 2 plus cinch squared x over 2. And then what I want to do with this formula is, again, really similar. I'm going to multiply by 1, but we're going to do it in the form of cosh squared x over 2. But what I'm going to do is I'm only going to distribute in this in the denominator. We'll leave this one outside. So doing that, we're going to have this, this piece is going to be just 1. And then cinch squared cosh squared is going to be tanch squared, which is exactly what we want because we have our formula here. And then the denominator, we can write this as hyperbolic secant squared. So we can replace our secant squared, our hyperbolic secant squared with 1 minus tanch squared. And then doing the same thing, we know what our tanch of x over 2 is. It's just going to be t, so we're left with a formula of 1 plus t squared, 1 minus t squared. And just one more thing before I continue. If we needed a formula for tanch of x, that's going to be real easy because we can just divide cinch and cosh, and we would have 2t over 1 plus t squared. Okay, so now I think we have everything we need so we can make our substitution. I just need to update these bounds, but be a little careful. So what we're looking at is we're going to be plugging infinity in for tanch x over 2. But I don't quite know how to evaluate this. So what I can do is write it in terms of the definition. So tanch is the same thing as, we can write it as e x over 2 
minus e to the minus x over 2 over ex over 2 plus e to the minus x over 2 is just our value for this. So then if we plug infinity into here, we'll notice these negative terms go to 0 because we're doing 1 over e to infinity. So we can kind of ignore this right side. And then this left side is the same thing. So at infinity, this thing is going to 1. And while we have this, we can do the same thing. Okay, let's evaluate 0. On top, it's going to be, we plug 0 in here, it's going to be 1 minus 1. So we're going to end up with 0. And then in the numerator, that's going to be 1 plus 1. So 0 or 2 is 0. So we're just evaluating this from 0 to 1. Now, writing out the integral, we're going to have 2 plus cosh x. We found our definition here, which is going to be 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared. And then we need our dx value. I'm going to put the 2 dt in the numerator and then have the 1 minus t squared in the denominator so we can multiply through with this. We'll distribute it in here. And when we do that, we're going to have this term's going to cancel. Let's just rewrite this. So we're going to have from 0 to 1, 2 dt. I'm going to multiply the 2 times the 1 minus t squared. So we're going to have 2 minus 2t two squared. Then this is going to cancel with this, and we're going to have plus 1 plus t squared. Then simplifying this, I'm going to bring my 2 out front, and we're going to have dt. 2 plus 1 is going to be 3, and then t squared minus t squared, 2t squared is going to be a minus t squared. And this is a pretty familiar looking integral. If I just do this and I make this a square root of 3 and square this, I can use a formula to do this integral. Okay, the formula I want to use is down here. We got this a, du over a squared minus u squared, and we'll write it like this. So we can just kind of pattern match. The a is going to be my square root of 3. So let's do this. We're going to have 2 over square root of 3, tanch inverse, um, our u in this case is t over square root of 3, and we're just evaluating this from 1 to 0. Okay, and before I go ahead and evaluate this, what I notice is I don't really want to try to evaluate it in this form of hyperbolic inverse tangent. I'm not sure how to do that. So what I'm going to do is use this other formula down here. We'll transform it into natural log, and I think it's going to be a little easier to deal with. Now, using this formula, what I did is I just converted the inverse tangent part into the natural logarithm using this formula. And then let's just do some simplification. So multiplying the 2 squared to 3 times half, we're going to have cancellation there. And then in here, I can multiply. I'm doing it in the, inside the parentheses, though. Multiplying by 1, we're going to multiply in the square root of 3. But then cleaning it up, we have it in this form. And I think we're ready to do our evaluation from 1 to 0. Plugging in 1 here, we're going to have 1 square root of 3, ln square root of 3 plus 1 over square root of 3 minus 1 minus 1 square root of 3 ln. We plug zeros in. The right part goes away. We just have square root of 3 over 3, but that's just 1. Natural log of 1 is 0, so this whole part of it is 0 and goes away. And this would be fine as an answer, but I think we'll do a little, try to do a little cleanup. And I'm going to multiply by the conjugate on the numerator and denominator. So when we do this, this piece is going to be, it's, when we multiply that out, we're going to get 3 minus 1. And so this whole thing is going to just be 2. Multiplying the numerator, we're going to have square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3, plus 2 square root of 3, plus 1 over 2. The 3 plus 1 is 4. So I think we can write our final answer now. We're going to have 1 square root of 3, natural log, dividing a 2 into the 4 is going to be 2 plus square root of 3. And that's going to be the answer. So we'll just box it and go home. That was MIT 2016, problem 20. If you want to see more on the wear stress substitution, I did an introduction video doing for the regular trig functions. I'll provide a link in the description. I also have a quiz on the wear stress substitution, also providing a link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.